You can file all the malpractice suits you want. It doesn't change the fact that Michael needs his operation now. That's not what Dr. Henson Dr. said. Dr. Henson isn't here. Dr. Henson didn't take the bullet out of Michael's brain. The same operation that left him in a coma. This is Michael's only chance, and I'm not going to let it slip away. Jax, got your message. What's going on? Well, Dr. Drake here has decided that Michael needs immediate surgery, and he's the only one who can perform it. He's putting Michael's life at risk. And God knows what it'll do to Carly. What are we supposed to do? Dr. Henson said we had time. What do we do now? How the hell did this slip away from us? Michael has taken a turn for the worse. His NSD levels are dangerously low. Which, according to Dr. Henson, is not a crucial factor. It's the degree to which they're dropping. His levels have gone down 25% in the last 24 hours. I want to speak with Dr. Henson myself. Dr. Henson isn't available. She went back to Europe on a family emergency. I spoke oh. with her, Sonny. She recommended that we wait until she gets back. And I disagree. Every hour that passes reduces our chances of success. Right. Success puts another notch in your belt. This isn't about my ego, Jax. This is about maximizing Michael's chances. Well, I'm sorry. I would rather rely on the advice of the doctor who developed the procedure. I've gone over Dr. Henson's research. I've looked at every piece of available data. I can do this procedure as well, if not better, than Dr. Henson. And this standing around debating is wasting Michael's time. A decision needs to be made. Frankly, Carla should be part of this decision. Now, that's exactly what we don't want, okay? She's due back here any moment. I don't want her walking in on this. Jax, if we don't consult Carly, she's going to be more upset. She's Michael's mother. Yeah, and you're his father. Now, I realize that you and I rarely see eye to eye, but I'm asking you to go with the doctor who pioneered the procedure. I don't want Carly walking in on this, okay? It could literally kill her and the baby. Michael's window is closing fast. I respect you. You're a good doctor. But I also know that it's eaten at you that Michael went into Sorry. a coma on your watch. You may have something to prove. We are talking about Carly and Michael's lives on the line here. I agree with, with Jax. We wait. All I know is that Pat, Patrick saw something in Michael's tests. Carly, it's some important level that has to be high, and it's dropping right now, and Patrick thinks it's only going to get worse. And Dr. Henson's on a plane. Yes, Jack spoke to her before she left. She, now, she's convinced the surgery can wait until she gets back, but Patrick thinks it has to happen right now if there's any chance of this surgery working. What do we do? Who are we supposed I to listen I, I, to? I don't know. I don't know. Patrick saved my life, but that's no guarantee that he's going to save Michael's life, and, and Jax agrees with Dr. Henson. <laughs> I love Jax, but I'm afraid that, you know, he's going to decide based on what least complicates my pregnancy, and I can't do that. I can't do that. I have to take care of Michael. What the hell am I supposed to do? I mean, do I let Patrick operate on Michael today? I... No. Sonny wants me to terminate this pregnancy, and I can't handle that right now. Not on top of everything that I'm dealing with, Michael. Okay. I know you're worried about me. I'm aware of my condition. Okay, I know that if my blood pressure goes up, that I could set off a chain reaction that's really not good for me. Okay, I get that. Okay, whatever happens. I mean, if you decide to go with Patrick and Michael doesn't wake up, or if you decide to wait for Dr. Henson and Michael still doesn't wake up, you need to keep it together for everybody. I know. That's what they talked a lot about the clinic, was how you just can't control everything, and I get it. I accept it, and I... I can handle this, okay? Carly, hey. Hey. Listen, I'm glad you're here. There's been a change in Michael's condition. I know. Jason's filled me in on everything. Okay. Hey, hey. when did you get here? I just got here a little while ago. I just wanted to come straight to see Michael. Okay. I need a few minutes alone with my wife. <sighs> Look, before...
before I step out, I need everyone to understand something here. I'm not trying to prove anything, and I'm not using Michael as an excuse. I believe in my ability to save Michael's life, and I will stake my career on the necessity for immediate action. Wait a second. Hold on. I'm aware of the change in Michael's condition. I am. And that Dr. Henson is out of reach. And what she recommends and what Patrick believes, and I think we need to make a decision here. I can see you've already made yours. I want Patrick to perform the surgery. And I want you to do it today. Based on all the information we were given, I conclude, and I thought that Jason agreed that we should wait for Dr. Henson to return. I know, to I know, but Patrick doesn't think we have time. Sometimes you have to trust your instincts. I'm going with Carly on this one. All right, I have a team standing by. I'll get us prepped. We'll come again, Michael. The theft was almost... Now I want what's best for Michael, but I worry about you too. You need to trust me. I'm going to be okay. And so is this little girl. We're going to be just fine. Hey, I'm glad you're here. I decided to let Patrick do the operation. Jason supports my decision and they're prepping the OR now. Can I spend some time alone with uh, Carly and Michael? This is it, buddy. This is what we hope for. You, you got a great doctor taking care of you. Me, your mom, and Morgan, we're, we're going to be waiting outside for you. The rest is up to you, okay? You are stubborn and you are determined as hell, and that's what we need. <laughs> that's what we're counting on, okay? And don't you for one second forget how much we love you and how much we believe in you. are against you, but you know what? The odds are just a bunch of numbers. And I know you. I know that I know that if you could tell me that you want the chance to fight, that you would want the chance to fight. So you know what? You do your part and I'm going to do mine. And I'm going to stay calm and strong right here with you. And you know what's going to happen? You're going to wake up and I'm going to take you home and you're going to be with everybody who loves you.